What's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to bring you guys something a little different. It's not all the, uh, you know, the 3S content and 3TC drag racing stuff that we normally do. Um, I'm bringing you back a little bit of some content with the, uh, the Lexus, the SC300 that we own, that my wife raced at last time. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the dyno today. So I'm curious to see, I know it's not super exciting, but it's just cool to see to have for reference. Um, curious to see what it makes as far as power bone stock so last time we took the car to the track she ran a 16 2 was her first time going down the racetrack and I need to teach her how to kind of brake boost even though we don't have a turbo yet but you know accelerate the car with the brake on launch the car that way she didn't do that but whatever I just told her look go out there have fun and then we took the air filter out which was kind of interesting and the thing picked up two tenths of a second so Bone, bone stock, it ran a 16.0, I'm sorry, a 16.2. Then we took the air filter out and it ran a 16.0. So I'm curious to see what kind of power number that really makes on the dyno just by taking out the air filter. I mean, you know, you see air filter kits and all that and we're like, ah, does it really make power? Well, in this case, we just took the air filter out completely. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go put some 93 non-ethanol fuel in it since we don't drive the car a whole bunch. It has non-ethanol fuel in it, but it's got 89 because uh, 93 is kind of hard to find. But there is a station by our house that does have it. So I'm on the way now to go put some 93 uh, non-ethanol. That way it's got the best fuel it could possibly have. And it's, ra it's rated for 91, I guess, the high compression and all that. I don't want it to retard the timing or do anything stupid. So I'm going to go put good fuel in it. So I'm on the way now to the gas station. All right, we're here at the gas station. Uh, let's see. You can see there, 93 octane, 436 a gallon. So get some fuel in this thing and uh, head to the dyno after. All right, stopped at the house. We got the family here. Hey guys. Got Stella in the back, passed out. She's asleep. She was at camp. She had a rough day, so she's passed out taking a nap as we drive to the dyno. So uh, we're about 10 minutes away, I say, and uh, we'll strap this thing up and see how it does. We'll do a couple pulls, um, probably just one baseline run, do a second run and make sure it's the same as the first, and then we'll take the air filter out and see what it does. So. Yeah? Yeah. And that's fine, so that looks good. Okay, that's good. Ah, damn. <laughs> 4,000 looks like we're... 3,500. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're going to give it a shot at 3,500. It wants to kick down on us, so we're trying to avoid that. Same exact thing, huh? Uh, a little more torque. Oh, really? Yeah. So I made 177. I actually held it a little longer. It went a little bit past so red line. Was, yeah, you did. I was surprised. Pulled longer. You should next time try to pull it to till it hits red line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it seems like. I'm telling you, that that generation of Toyotas is so. I'm telling you, that that generation of Toyotas is so. Do you want to close this lid or leave it open? Because it'll get cold air from there. Do you want cold air? Do you want this box or not? We can. 
can do it open and close. <laughs> see what difference it makes. Wanna leave it open? Sure. Let's leave it open and see what it does. <laughs> Oh, traction control again. Can yeah, you shut off the car? That is crazy. <laughs> Now we're trying with the air filter lid closed to see what it does. All right, here we go. Four horsepower. Oh my god! So you need to use an open, uh, like, or run a pipe and put a filter in the nose. Yeah, or like a KN or something. Yeah. Wow! So right there, it made back to back 177, 17. God, like spot on almost. Yeah, it should go stop right. Yeah, and 184 no air filter, 180 with the air filter box closed. Yeah, the so four horsepower difference and, and torque about. Yeah. All right, so there you guys have it. So we did uh, basically what four runs, I think. Yeah. Two stock runs where we just made sure it made uh, consistent back-to-back -back runs. It made 177, and then it was funny because even the dyno guy he was laughing. We took out the air filter. It made 184, which I couldn't even believe it picked up that much power. And then we with the air filter box open so we left the air we took the air filter out left the air filter box open then we shut the air filter box and it lost four horsepower made 180 so i think this thing with like a your typical cold air intake down in the fender would probably pick up who knows maybe 10 12 horsepower so that might be something we do um ultimately again we want to turbo it so i don't know i think we're going to go back to the track you know just take the air filter out again and uh let her get some more seat time teach her how to brake boost and, and accelerate a lot harder and i think this thing will get in the 15 is pretty easy so stay tuned hopefully next time we'll be back at the track and uh, we'll go from there take it easy <laughs>